Welcome to Authentic English Podcast, your weekly show where education meets recreation. Here's your host with 20 years plus of teaching experience, Marcia Pike. Marcia Pike here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Authentic English Podcast episode. Today's show is brought to you by Audible. Want to get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial? You, Authentic English Podcast listener and viewer, can. Just go to audibletrial.com slash authentic English. There are over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm going to add the link to the show notes, okay? So let's get to today's show. It was Earth Day yesterday, April 22nd. As a homage to Mother Earth, let's learn eight useful Earth idioms. Let's jump right in with the idiom Mother Earth. Earth idiom number one, Mother Earth, which is used for referring to the world as a place where all its living beings and natural features come from. For example, most of the wood is from recycled or sustainably harvested sources, making less impact on Mother Earth. Plants often do not have time to grow and enrich themselves properly with nutrients from Mother Earth. Idiom number two, Earth to someone, which is a means of getting the attention of someone who is not paying attention or daydreaming, as if one were on the Earth trying to contact someone in a spaceship. Note that this expression is used humorously. For example, Earth to mom, Earth to mom, what's for dinner? Hello? Earth to Molly, are you listening or am I talking to myself? Idiom number three. What on earth? Why on earth? Where on earth? Etc. This is used for emphasis in the beginning of a question, usually because the speaker is incredulous or angry. For example, what on earth were you thinking when you spent all our life savings on that Ferrari? Are you out of your mind? If the police knew who the kidnapper was, why on earth did they take so long to take any measures? Idiom number four, to come back to worth or to come down to worth, which means to start dealing with life and problems again after you have had a very exciting time. To remember or consider reality when one is fantasizing or being overly optimistic. For example, the only problem with going on your dream vacation is coming back to Worth afterwards. I was really excited about moving to a bigger house, but I came down to Earth when I found out how much the rent was. Idiom number five, on the face of the Earth, which is used when you are emphasizing a statement to mean in the whole world in existence. For example, scientists at the university have created the most powerful weapon on the face of the earth. The town was deemed to be the happiest place on the face of the earth in a recent worldwide study. Idiom number six, off the face of the earth, which is used for emphasizing that something does not exist anywhere or cannot be found anywhere. For example, if a nuclear war breaks out, Every living thing will be wiped off the face of the earth. Ever since Molly moved to the suburbs, she seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. Idiom number seven, hell on earth or a hell on earth, which is an extremely unpleasant place or situation, something that causes extreme suffering. For example, soldiers who survived the war described it as hell on earth. This place has been a hell on earth ever since the new manager took over. And idiom number eight, heaven on earth or a heaven on earth, which is something that is very enjoyable, pleasurable, etc. For example, have you ever had the risotto at the restaurant down the street? It's heaven on earth. That's definitely the most breathtaking place I've ever been to. It's just like a heaven on earth. I wish I could live there. So, what do you consider heaven on earth? 
Please leave what heaven on earth is for you in the comments section in my website. Just go to AuthenticEnglishPodcast.com. If you want to go that extra mile, please email me at marcia at AuthenticEnglishPodcast.com to get a free transcript of today's episode. If you want a bigger challenge, try listening to my podcast, just the audio before watching the video. This will definitely help you improve your listening skills even more. You can listen to Authentic English Podcasts on Apple Podcasts if you have an iPhone or Stitcher if you have an Android phone. All you've got to do is download the podcast app if you have an iPhone and the Stitcher app if you have an Android phone. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel so that you'll get a notification as soon as a new video comes out, okay? If you know anyone who will also benefit from today's content, please share it with them. Sharing is caring. Well, I hope you have a fantastic week listening to your free audiobook from Audible. Take care. Great having you with us today. Keep on with Marcy on social media. Head over to AuthenticEnglishPodcast.com to practice what you've just learned. And subscribe, rate, and review. Take care.